Welcome back to Josiah Plays Dungeons and Dragons Daggerdale. And we are working our way back toward uh, safety with Rezel here. We're almost we're almost uh, good to go. Gonna finish this quest up. And here he comes, Rezel Quartz Bellows. Pull this lever, open these big gates. And we made it! Back to Roll, Quartz Bellows, Rezel's brother. Mm -hmm. Alright, so you've successfully located my brother. Hey. Rezel, any luck in collecting that ore? Mm -hmm. Nice to see you too, brother. Mm -hmm. Glad to be back in the arms of my loving family. So you weren't able to find any of that? I knew I should have gone myself. Then you'd have been the one chained up with Spirit Shackles, punk. Mm -hmm. So hard to find good help these days. Don't be a dick. Your brother just came back. You're supposed to be, you know, killing the fatted calf and so forth. Are you serious? <laughs> I risked my life in those caves. Mm -hmm. And he is rightfully indignant. Risked your life and nothing to show for it. A pity, really. Well, I am a dwarf of my word. Here is your reward for escorting my brother back safely. Yeah, don't don't get all lippy with me just because he didn't get the ore. I had to fight a bunch of a bunch of phantoms and shit. Not to mention the obligatory hordes of goblins and fairlocks and everything. All right, quest complete. It's another one done. I'm level six. Almost six and a half. Got shit loads of gold. Let's see, I got tons of loot there. Wow, Elven Quartz. All right, yeah. Da, 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 da. I wonder if I should pick up two-handed blades because I sure find a lot of them. Like this one, plus two Dragonborn Greatsword is an amazing weapon. Um, Cobalt throwing dagger of the hidden flaming. Gr oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, right now I'm using this guy. Uh, Great Axe of Blight is okay. Two to two to twenty one attack, one damage, normal. Two ongoing poison damage. This one just has straight up three fire damage and nine percent chance to slow. Yeah, so this is a obviously a, a lovely, lovely upgrade from what I'm using. Um, so yes, I'll be I'll be equipping this, and of course it's burning, which is which is nice. Um, so, new new axe, that's great. Toxic leather armor of claim port. Ooh, oh, whoa, what, what's, uh, new chainmail? Alright, so, same armor class as the chainmail I'm wearing. This one has the knockback thing, lightning resist. This one has the knockback thing, saves versus, oh, and movement speed. So, now I'm going to stick with the chainmail I'm wearing. Cool, though. Got my new axe. I like it. It's big and axy. I like it. I, I don't. I wasn't really a huge fan of a Morning Star anyway. Uh, you know, aesthetically speaking, you know. So a big, a big two-handed axe is more my style for a cool big dwarven, dwarven guy with a big axe. It's nice and iconic. Uh, all right. So we'll sell all this other stuff. Yeah, I have tons of gold now. Like sort of magic defense. Just keep the one potion of vitality and sell all these lesser healing potions. I still have not actually used a single uh, potion in the entire game so far. I mean, obviously there was that one point where I should have because I died, in, uh, you know, early in the game, but... Have not used any potions at all, so... I don't even think I want to shop. I, I don't even think I want to buy anything. At this point, I'm just like, whatever. Saving my money. I'm happy with the gear I've got. Let's just move on. And let's talk to Master Ayer. He seems to have the next uh, quest for me. Mm -hmm. I've looked into the tower structure. The only way up that tower is through a red seal portal. Mm -hmm. That Skull Lord I told you about. That Skull Lord I told you about? He guards it with his life, or lack thereof. Good one, Master A. Mm -hmm. What's a Skull Lord? It's a powerful undead guardian, cr 
created through dark rituals to serve its master. Mm. Resolus has bound this Skull Lord's spirit to the seal. Mm. To gain entry through the Red Seal, you must challenge and defeat the Skull Lord. It's not really mm. a big surprise. For that, you need a necrotic talisman. The dark energies of a fully charged talisman will draw him to you and force him to accept your challenge. I can help make you one. Sounds great. Let's do it. Making making uh, necrotic talismans is uh, what I'm all about. Bring me ten Fairlock skulls and I'll see what I can do. Really? Now you tell me you need Fairlock skulls? Because I just killed about 50 Fairlocks a second ago. I could have been collecting their skulls before... Oh, motherfucker. Alright, fine. I'll go get your ten Fairlock skulls. This is starting to feel like an MMO. I'll go get your, your uh, wolf assholes or whatever the hell. <laughs> oh, God. Alright. Morbid Collector. Collecting Fairlock Skulls. This is not the high point of their quest design. Alright, well I happen to know there's a bunch of Fairlocks over this way. So let's go chop them up. Throw the defense bonus on myself ahead of time. Oh, now it's goblins. Gorgeous. Hexer, huh? Hex this. I got a new axe, sucker. How you like my new axe? Yeah, I like it. Okay, goblins dealt with. Let's move on. Let's find some fairlocks. Need fairlock skulls. Damn. Calls that up. And boom. Crit for 40. Okay. Um. Well, let's just. That one crazed dwarf that's always there. You know what? Fuck it. I'm feeling I'm feeling a little froggy right now. I'm going I'm going for a <laughs> See if I can run around and then just like drop the hammer on some fuckers. Uh-oh. I fucked up there. Oh, that actually stopped me in my tracks. One poor sharpshooter is just still shooting me like he thinks he can kill me. Ooh, unbroken barrels over here. Hold the hell on. Halo! Was it, it, wait, so barrels are actually starting to drop real shit now. I mean, that was like a magical sword of some kind in a barrel. It's kind of nice. Uh, Alright, what's down here? Probably some stuff I really don't need to mess with right now because it does not involve Fairlock skulls. Oh, uh, we'll leave that alone for now. Goblin Scout. You want to play the uh, throwing stuff at people game, huh? How about that? Alright. Find some fairlocks. So now there's no fairlocks anywhere. <laughs> Nothing but infinite goblins. And oregano. I like that I'm setting people on fire, that's pretty cool. You know, I'm thinking this game would actually be pretty damn fun multiplayer co-op, especially with like real friends. You know, you're playing with your friends, but like on on Skype or Vent or something. And uh, like, I mean, I would love to play this with some of my actual D&D &D buddies uh, online. You know, again, not that great of a game story-wise, but if you had the whole crew together, you're playing co-op, 
with your pals, you know, making jokes and, and, ch and chatting as you go, and you got the team dynamics. I mean, I know that this game scales up with the more players you have, so, like, you know, it wouldn't be this level of difficulty if it was four people. It would be four times as many monsters, or they would have four times as many hit points and do a lot more damage. So, I mean, it, the difficulty goes up so that you're not just trivializing it playing with more people. Um, yeah, actually, I could really see myself playing this uh, w with friends. Even hell, even with just strangers from the matchmaking. Because, you know, you get on this thing's hooked into GameSpy or whatever, where you can just matchmake and, and find people to play with. Like any, you know, modern game with online uh, co-op multiplayer or whatever. They, you know, they obviously have to have a, uh, a matchmaking system. Otherwise... You know, that's, that's just too important of a feature. So I still haven't found any stinking fairlocks this time. This is bogus. Alright. We'll open this up. Where does that lead? Yeah, it leads this way. Should be some fairlocks down this way. This music sucks. I'm just going to come right out and say it. Hey! There we go! what I'm looking for. Um, w how do I get their skulls, though? Where where's their skulls? So, okay, I've just killed some Fairlocks, and now I don't even, now I don't even get their skulls. Okay, loving this quest. And I miss. Still, still not coming up with any skulls here. Despite having killed several Fairlocks. Still, no, what the fuck? Do I need to kill some certain specific... Oh, they see, there we go. That guy's got an arrow of his, over his head. So he's obviously, like, the right Fairlock to kill for a skull. These other ones, they didn't have skulls. Sorry. Okay, Fairlock Warrior, which I believe is a subtype we haven't actually specifically seen uh, up till this point. Collected... Oh, okay, I got one. One of ten. Great. Hey guys, I got something for you. Didn't quite do that right, but uh... Two of ten! Two of ten on Fairlark Skulls. Alright, okay, here we go. Here we go. Here the fuck we go. I'm just brutalizing these. Three of ten. So basically I get one skull from every pack of Fairlocks I fight now. Hi, lads. Alright, so this guy's going to drop one. He's got a thingy over his head. Four of ten. Hello. Here's another one. An arrow of your head... It over your head indicates that you have a skull. Five of ten. All right. Halfway done with Morbid Collector. That's all the time we have for this video, though, so I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Josiah plays Dungeons & Dragons Daggerdale.